Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool zoom sequence in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is what the final edit looks like right here. You do this really fast zoom in effect, and then there you go, the video keeps on playing. So I'm going to go over basically how to create um, this effect. So I'm going to go to the example right here, and all you're just going to do is going to go ahead and just import um, all of your clips. Now the next thing you're going to do is you want to select all of your clips right here and you want to hold down control D3 and then click or en and click enter or return. And basically what that doing what that's going to do is it's going to set all the clips right here to last for 3 frames um, right here. So you want all of these to last for 3 frames. So I'll go ahead and play the clip um, right here and you'll basically just see that the clips are going to go by um, really fast right here. As you can see all of these last for 3 frames and that's basically the first part um, of the effect. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click on the first clip and you want to go ahead and keyframe the scale. Then you want to go to the end of the first clip right here and then you want to increase the scale to 200. Now in this case it's going to be 225 because this is a screen recording but if it's your um, actual video you actually own the footage then you want to just keyframe it from 100 to 200 um, right here. So you can see right there the video is just keyframing right here from 100. 125 to 225. Now it's important here, this lasts for three frames. I basically keyframed the full three frames, but you could actually just keyframe the first two frames and not keyframe the entire clip. That is, of course, all up to you. Keep in mind if you're going to keyframe the first two, it's going to go really fast, so that all depends on the look you want. What you're going to do next is you're going to click on this first clip right here. You're going to hold down Command C to copy, and then you're going to select all of these clips right here, and you're going to click a Shift Command V. And you want to make sure it's on scale. Basically, what it's going to do is it's going to copy that, you know, that keyframe animation in the first clip. It's going to copy that keyframe animation all three of the clips right here as you can see now all the are zooming in right here so basically what you're doing is you're just key, uh, making a keyframe to scale the first clip you're holding down command C to copy the keyframe animation and then you're copying all the keyframe animations to all I think like 16 or 17 clips right here so let's go ahead and play it right here and this is what the video looks like right here there you go you have created the effect um, right there now what you're gonna do um, next is now you're going to kind of keyframe um, the the first clip and the second clip right here. So let's go ahead and click on the first clip right here. What you're just going to do right here is you're going to go to the first clip right here and then you're going to go back one, two, three frames to so the last three frames right here. You're going to click on the clip right here and we're going to go ahead and click um, the keyframe animation right here. We're going to go ahead and click the animation right here and then we're going to go to the end of the clip and we're going to scale it to 225 um, right here. So let's go ahead and wait for it to render a little bit. As you can see, the, the first clip after the last three frames, the last three frames start to zoom in and then you basically have the zoom in. So you want to start with the first clip to start to zoom in to kind of create that really cool um, transition. And now what you want to do is you want to go to the last three frames right here so it's on 16 1 2 3 right here create a marker right here go to the beginning um, click on keyframe right here then go three frames in and I'll just say like keyframe it to 140 um, right here you don't want to probably keyframe it all the way to a 100% right here so let's go ahead and play it right here and the last clip is also zooming in right here and that kind of creates a really cool um, seamless transition right here so as you can see, there you go, the first, uh, the last three frames of the first clip are zooming in, and then the first three of the second one, the last clip, is also zooming in. That definitely creates a really cool, kind of seamless look. Now the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to add some sort of motion blur. So we'll take moderate motion blur right here, and then you just want to apply the motion blur to all of the, uh, the keyframe um, clips right here. It'll basically just create a really cool um, zoomed in effect right here so let's go ahead and kind of play it frame by frame so let's go ahead and you can see right here it creates this really cool zoom effect so basically all it does is it just makes the effect um seem a lot more seamless right here so as you can see right there 
there you go you have created this really cool kind of zoom in effect um right here and honestly that's pretty much the effect right here you're just key you want all those to last uh, three frames and then you're just key framing the scale right here and that's pretty much how you create um this effect it's kind of like the basics of this effect now another thing you can do is you can start messing with sound design right here so i'm going to go ahead and basically just click on this right here if this doesn't work i'll just go ahead and go to the the uh edited clip so i'll go ahead and just take the audio Kind of put it out right here so there we go right here oh, i guess i'll just line it up um right here actually i'll, I'll just use this as an example it's not going to be perfect right here but one thing that i came up with or saw an idea on was go ahead and blade the audio where um where the effect starts where the effect starts to take place right here so i'll go ahead and kind of just use the blade tool right here and then i'll add a muffled audio uh, sound effect right here so let's go to audio right here and let's click on muffle right here the muffled sound effect onto the video right here go to the audio section right here click on muffle clean right here and then what you also want to do is add a cross dissolve between the audio um right here so basically you're just going to add a cross dissolve right here and basically what that's going to do is that's going to avoid some sort of audio peaking um right there that's kind of the example um right there i'll go ahead and kind of show you what it looks like on the final edit right here so as you can see right here, what I just did was I bladed the audio right here and then I isolated the audio where the effects started to take place and then I added a cross dissolve. What a cross dissolve does is it just helps blend the audio so you won't have any kind of audio clipping right here. I also added a sound effect um, from Epidemic Sound um, right here. So I basically just had it play here and then kind of basically just end here. So it kind of creates um, this really cool um kind of like whoosh uh, sound effect so that's pretty much how you create the effect um right here so let's go ahead and play it right here so all of a sudden you had the first clip the first clip is starting to zoom in right here and now all the clips are zooming in all of them hold for three frames and the anim the key the scale is basically animating 100 percent right here you're adding some motion blur to kind of make it look a lot more realistic right here you can add a little bit of a muffled audio sound effect to where the effect is starting to take place i think that's just a look that i like and then i just added um this really cool um whoosh sound effect um, from Final Cut Pro 10 and that's pretty much how you create the effect of course you can mess a lot more sound design but those are a couple of just ideas um, that I came up with right there I definitely think it's a really cool um, effect I can definitely use this for a lot of different um, situations and there you go that's how you create this really cool zoom sequence effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 160 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.